Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we are diving, flying, soaring into a brand new episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke. And I just want to show you the team real quick. We've gotten really good at practicing this. And when I say practicing this, I mean putting Ane in the box. Because as we talked about a couple episodes ago, Ane, if you do not get in the freaking PC box before I shut down the uh, the emulator, you will become a, a, a regular Ampharos. Wow, I cannot speak today. So I've gotten good at right before recordings and at the end of recordings, putting Ane in the box where she belongs. That sounds terrible. But here is the team. Let's have a quick team recap to start this new episode off. We've got... Uh, where's your nickname? There it is, Crystal, the Scyther, with the color change ability, with quick attack, pursuit, focus energy, and false swipe. Oh, holding the silk scarf for to power up those normal attacks. We've got Kenshin, a level 16 Fletchling, with the analytic ability with Peck, Quick Attack, Flail, and Growl. We've got Jay Jammer, the War Turtle, level 12, uh, with the ability Defiant, with Water Gun, Tackle, Karate Chop, and Withdraw. We've also got Yoshi, my starter, the Frogadier with Iron Barbs, rocking out with Water Pulse, Lick, Quick Attack, and Smoke Screen. And last but not least, one of my favorites, which is Ani, the Mega Ampharos, with the ability Sheer Force, uh, with Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Tackle, and Growl. Don't get me wrong, I love all my Pokemon, but I am not used to having a Mega on my team, which makes it really cool. Now that we've gone over the team, and they're looking pretty snazzy if I do say so myself, let's go ahead and make sure we add an item, because I just noticed that our Fletchling doesn't have a berry. So do we have... Ooh, we don't... I was hoping we had an Orin Berry to give someone, but we don't, unfortunately. So, um, do we have anything else to give? Grass-type moves, uh, boost the power of grass-types. Uh, we really don't have anything to give right now, so that's okay. Our Flying Fletchling will have to wait for right now to get an item. But, in the last episode, we did a lot of fishing. We did fishing all across these waters. Now what we need to do is head into the cave to see if we can go ahead and... Oh, and we battle all these trainers, too. Um, now we need to go in the cave and find a man named Steven. If we find Steven, then we can go ahead and uh, give him the letter that the president asked us to return. Now, let's go ahead and use a super repel. And let's go ahead... And actually, I was going to keep Crystal up front, but you know what? Let's put Crystal in the back here just for now while we have the repel out. Let's put Kenshin up front. Um, the name of this episode, or the, the idea for this episode, is to train up our weaker Pokemon so they are on par with everyone else. Uh, what's going on here? Let me talk. Hey, you! It's awfully- it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. And we obtained Flash. I'm really glad we talked to him. Wow, that worked out really nicely. It's a TM, though, instead of an HM, which is nice. Teach that TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky- that- Inky darkness of caves. All right, cool. Who is this? Ah, the mural head has drawn a lot of attention lately. The other day, team, something in red or blue suits came here. Numbers. Okay. Oh, wait, we have to defeat the gym first. That's right. I forgot. We can't go in there yet. We have to take on Doofer Gym, I believe. Uh, before we do that, I didn't do my research on this... Uh, this town. So I want to check to make sure we're not missing out on any items. Um, so let's talk to everyone here. Uh, let's see. Of course you trend. A life with a potion is unthinkable. Okay, let's talk to you. I'm not going to do all the dialogue here. I'm telling Pokemon Potion Festivals too. Cool, cool. Do you have anything? I'm not skipping dialogue for everyone, just for these people. We're doing some research on trendy festivals, uh, part-time jobs. A true a deep relationship between potion festivals and part-time jobs? Sure, why not? Oh, so my hunch was right. I'm one step closer to hit. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, are potion festivals any tried to hear? Oh my gosh, no one gives you anything? What is this potion festival they keep talking about? Um, talk to you, kid. What do you want? I'm collecting tons of potions. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting out of this house. Th there's no one here that seems... Yeah, these kids are just talking to themselves in the other room. All right. The repel wore off. Good timing, I guess. Okay, I just want to make sure again that I'm not missing anything. So let's head into these houses. We talked to him. He gave us the silk scarf, I believe. Um, That guy gave us the fishing rod. What about here? Uh, there's been a lot said about a small island. Ha 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 ha. When I married my husband, I moved here from the large slate port. Oh, that's right. We got to go to slate port. I completely forgot about that. Okay. 
So I think we're good. So um, how are our items looking like right now? Let's go back into our bag real quick. Before we take on this gym, uh, we got 10 potions. Uh, we could do with heading back, selling some items and buying some new items. So let's take a little bit of time to head back to Duford. I don't want to mess up in this gym. So let's talk to Mr. Briny. Mr. Briny, uh, let's go. Well, that's gonna be a long trip back. Yeah, let's go do it anyway. Um, I do want to head back really quick, guys. Sorry, this is going to take a second. Um, but I want to head back because we've got the protein. We can sell... Is digging this back? Okay, it's just taking a second. Okay, I didn't know if he was going to do the whole cutscene again. So what I want to do is I want to sell the protein or iron or whatever it is that I have. And oh, that noise scares me every time I'm near some grass. So what I want to do is head back. Um, you know what? Let's use a repel real quick because that's going to be smart. Um, we've got protein. So that's what I want to sell um, because then... Okay, there we go. Thank you. Um, I want to sell the protein, get some more money. I think we're already doing pretty well for money. And then what I would like to do is head back and go into the gym. Um, I think with some extra super potions, we can feel a little bit more confident. So, um, all right, we'll head through here. Nope, don't attack me. I don't want to. I don't want to get in a wild encounter. I can't get one here. Um, all right, so let's head this way. The repack. The the repack. The reflect. We're off. So. Hopefully today we can go ahead and beat the Rustboro, or not Rustboro, do for Jim. And then on top of that, hopefully we can head towards Slateport. That'd be really cool. All right. So, sir, I'm going to sell this. Where, where are you? Right here. Protein. Okay. So we actually didn't have that great of money right now, which kind of stinks. But let's sell a special attack. Um, Meadow Plate? 500? Um... I'm going to sell that. I don't think I need that. Ooh, the Rose Incense. They sell for a lot of money. I'm sorry. These items could be useful, but not right now. So, um, all right. So now we got 12,000 money. That's really nice. Let's go buy some helpful items. So let's buy, uh, what do you got here? Super potions? Yes. Let's buy a couple more of those. Let's buy at least five more of those. Um... Let's buy, you know what? Actually, no, let's wait because after, after we do this, we can go to Slateport and get even more items after we beat the next gym. So let's just buy five more super potions, save a little bit of our money, and maybe we'll come back even to this. Actually, wait, did he have repels? No, there's no repels here. Dang it, that would have been nice. Yeah, we'll save the money for Pokeballs for, or a type of Pokeball for when we, uh, when we beat the next gym. Because again, the items are going to be randomized, which is going to be so cool. I can't wait to see what they are. Um, okay, so we're heading this way. We're going to go all the way back. Sorry, guys. I may cut this out. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this yet, but we'll see. Um, okay. Alright, Mr. Briny, come talk to us. No, stop chasing your bird. <laughs> I know exactly what you want to say, huh? Uh, yes. Did you deliver the letter? No, but I need to. Head to do for it. Aha! We're coming! Pico! We're about to set sail! Ah! I love this, though. It's so cool. That's awesome. I love that scene. It's so cool. All right. So that didn't take too long. It took a, it took maybe a minute or two. Not too long. We've struck land. Haha. All right, here we go. So now we can head towards the gym, take on this gym battle, which I think might be interesting. I know our two Pokemon are pretty high level, the Mega Ampharos and the uh, Frogadier, but I think we're good. So let's do this. Don't you dare brush me off. It's not my fault if you cry. Whoa. All right. She is a little mean. All right. She's terrifying. Challenged by Battle Girl Lars. She sent out a Luxio. That's concerning. Uh, actually, not really. It's an electric type, which doesn't bode well for my flying type um, or most of my team. But luckily, we have Ane, the Mega Ampharos, which is super powerful. So we're fine. Um... 
I know after everyone watched episode four, I know Tony specifically, shout out to you, Tony. Thank you so much for your support on the series. Tony mentioned in like four comments, he was like, dude, you have such a weakness to electric types. And while I do, having Mega Ampharos is a huge lifesaver because I don't have to worry about the electric attacks. And now it's going for Leer, that's fine, doesn't matter. By the way, guys, uh, just to address something that happened in the last episode, for those of you who watched that episode, um, I completely forgot about crits uh, and the fact that they don't take into account any stat drops. So when I used Growl three times on the uh, sand or the Scyther, uh, it's crit bypassed that, which is why it one-shot the Nido King. So that's my bad, I, I completely forgot. And Scyther's... Um, Scyther got a crit, and that did not help our team, so... Really stinks, but it is what it is. There's nothing I could do there, so... We're gonna keep our bird, uh, Kenshin up front here. Ooh, we light up a path. Okay, cool. So we just have to go around... Oh, we have to go around this way. No. Go this way. There we go. Nice, come on. Yeah, we got it. Another battle. Let's do it. M Might is right. Come on. Let's see what you got, bud. Let's see what you got. Challenged by Pokemon Ranger Hideki. Sent out a Miss Magius. All right. That's interesting. Um, I mean, we've got Frogadier for her, but I don't want to rely on my two really bulky Pokemon. I want to win without them. So I'm going to go for a Peck here. It's using Spite. That's fine. Yeah, Peck will do enough. It's going to take longer than switching over to Frogadier to beat this thing. But I think it'd be... I want to get the experience for Fletchling. And also, Peck's got a ton of uh, PP, so I'm not worried about her using Spite. That's fine. Go for it again. Use Psy Wave. Now, this is concerning. It does a random amount of damage. Okay, did uh, seven? Can we get a crit? Ah, oh, almost. All right, let's go for another Peck, and we should be fine. It goes for Psy Wave. Don't do a lot. Ooh. Okay, that did about eight, I think. Right? Yeah. Miss Magius is defeated. That's some good EXP for uh, Kenshin over here. 481, yes. Level 17, very nice. Oh, I thought it was in his second level. That would have been so cool. Not enough power. Receive 416 for winning. Very cool. Kenshin, are you going to evolve? Yes, Kenshin evolves. What a great start to this episode. What? Kenshin is evolving? Kenshin, my dude, I am so proud of you. You're evolving. Congratulations. You are now... A Fletchender. Very cool. Look at you! Yes! Congratulations, your Kenshin evolved into Fletchender. Very nice. And do we learn Ember now? Wants to learn Ember, yes, because now it's part flying and fire. So we will take that. Um, I feel like we want to probably get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Flail. I, I, yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to get rid of that. I probably wouldn't have used it that much. And now we get a stab fire type move. That's fantastic. All right. There we go. So we leveled up and evolved our Fletchling into a Fletchender. So what I'm actually going to do now is switch around. I'm going to bring out Crystal. We're going to use Crystal at the front of our party. Uh, and then we're also going to use uh, Jay Jammer as well. Because why not? It's pretty cool. Okay, so now I've got to go up here. Up and then around... There we go. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a... I love the design of the gyms in this game. It's so awesome. All right, here we go. Come on, Scyther. You can do this. There's no need for Brawly to be involved. I'll crush you. You know what? You're confident. I like you. You're confident. You're challenged by Camper Tessa. Sends out a Caterpie. Really? I don't need to fight Brawly? Because it seems like you don't really have that much. Go, Crystal! Snow warning. Oh, wow. A Caterpie having snow warning. That's funny. Oh, I didn't check the ability of Fletchender. That's... Okay, I'll have to do that. Uh, we'll go for a quick attack. Okay, eh, decent damage. Not not great. Not bad. Um, okay. Color change. Transformed into normal type, which I already am. And one more quick attack should do the trick here. We'll defeat the Caterpie, which is really not too concerning at all. Caterpie is defeated. And we'll take that experience, no matter how small it is. 91, okay. It's about to send out Florgus. Um, I'm gonna stay out, actually. Florgus is bulky and scary, but I'm gonna go for a pursuit here. See how much this does. Ooh, that did not do much at all. Misty terrain, interesting. Okay. Now, if I'm correct, Florgus is a fairy type, if that's if I'm right. 
So let's go for a quick attack. See how much this does. Oh, it does a good amount of damage. I should have just gone with that. Moonblast, that's gonna hurt. Uh, crystal, that hurt. And special attack fell. Color change, we're transformed into a fairy type, okay? Um, that's concerning. I need to get out of here because I'm worried. Quick attack should kill. Do I take the risk? I definitely outspeed, I know that. Um, I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to use a super potion and heal up Crystal, because I don't want to lose this. I want to attack with Crystal and get the experience against this Florgus. Use Moonblast. How much is this going to do against us? Because now we're Fairy-type, or we have been changed into that based on our, uh, our ability. So quick attack. We should outspeed. This might kill, right? No, it doesn't. Oh, no. Please don't get a crit, please. Uh, oh my gosh, that's so close. All right, I'm gonna go for it. We're just doing it. Quick attack, yes! Beat the floor, Giz. Nice, that's gonna be great experience. Good job, Crystal, you hung in there. Good job. Crystal gained 583. That levels Crystal up to level 14. Very nice. We will take that, absolutely. Nice, okay. Halfway to next level. But how? How could I lose so easily? Receive 352 for winning. Very nice. All right, what you got next? I think the next trainer is our uh, gym leader, I think. Uh, so we'll go into our bag here. Let's heal up because that was a little concerning. Uh, we'll use some potions so we don't have to use um, our super potions all at once. Can we teach... Um, I wish we could get a better move for uh, for Scyther. Cut's, uh, cut's not really that reliable. Um... I think we're just gonna stick with what we've got for now. Honestly, I think that's probably what we'll do. Um, oh, that's right, we have to go this way. So, uh, I guess the easiest way would, to go would just be this way, down. There we go. Up and then over. I think we got it. There we go, we turn on the lights and he's stretching, waiting for us. All right, so. I am going to start out with Scyther, and we're going to see what this guy's got. I am nervous as anything. Um, we're going to stand next to this guy while he exercises. What up, Brawly? What up, bruh? Lee? Um, all right. Should we get on the treadmill? Let's hop on the treadmill. That'd be so cool if you could actually run. All right, Brawly. Let's see what you got, man. Let's talk to you. I'm a little nervous. Six Pokemon's a lot to deal with. Ha! Huh, I'm Brawly, two first gym leader. I've been churning the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough using the cave at the outskirts of this town as my training ground, as well as using the equipment in this gym. So, you want to challenge me? <laughs> Let me see what you're made of. Let's go! Let's do this! I'm ready for this gym battle. Gym battle number two. Oh man, he's ready for a fight. Let's do this. What you got, Brawly? Gym leader Brawly challenge you sent out Lapras. Okay. That's interesting. Now, I don't think it'll have an ice type attack right off the bat. So it's it's level 14. I don't know. Hmm. Uh real quick, what I want to do is check something. Uh let's see, check moves. How does focus energy work again? So focus energy, uh, focus on that. Critical hits land more easier. Okay. So let's go for that. I really want to try and get a crit right off the bat if we can. So let's go for a focus energy. We're fast. Definitely faster than the Lapras. Lapras speed is not great. Getting pumped. Use mist. Interesting. Okay. That's an interesting choice for you to go with. Um, let's go for a quick attack. We outspeed. We do hit. No crit. Oh, that does nothing. Oh, no. It's got ice shard. Oh, we're gone. Oh, wow. We actually hung on there. We did. Wow. But see, now we're technically, we're an ice type. So it's not going to do as much. But our quick attack's also not going to do as much. Um, let's go into... Um, we really don't... Should we go into Jay? Let's give Jay some experience. Let's bring him into battle, see what he can do. Um, he doesn't have a ton of great moves. He's only level 12, but he should be finding it's a lap... Oh, Confuse Ray, that's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, come on, Jay. I'm going to go for his Karate Chop. I want to see how much he can do with this. Breakthrough. Come on, Jay. Jay. Breakthrough. Jay. No. Oh, that's not good. He hit himself. Water pulse. That shouldn't do much. Okay, that did not do much at all. That's fine. So let's go for another karate shot. Breakthrough, Jay. Oh, he snapped out. Perfect. It's 
super effective, but because it's not stab, it did like nothing. Woo! Water pulse again, that's fine. Critical hit, oh wow. Um, I don't, ah, this is gonna be a long battle if I hang out here. Okay, because we don't wanna spend tons of items healing Jay and slowly whittling down Lapras, I'm just gonna switch right out into uh, Mega Ampharos, which is our Ane. Now I know what you're thinking, we're part dragon type, our Ice Shard is gonna hit hard, but we're also level 22 and it's going for Water Pulse because that's the best move it can use against our uh, wa uh, War Turtle, which is Jay. So now we're gonna go for a Thunder Shock. This should be a one hit KO. We actually outsped, I guess the eight levels helps, or yeah, eight levels. Lapras is defeated, very nice, it's the first Pokemon. 561 for Ane, 561 for Crystal, grows to level 15, very nice. Jay Jammer 561, grows to level 13, wants to learn Bubble. Now I think, wait, what's better, Bubble or Water Gun? Me and Soul have talked about this before. Uh, I think Bubble's better technically because it lowers speed. Yeah, so Water Gun is 40 and 100. So let's get rid of Water Gun for Bubble. Let's go. We're getting our young Pokemon leveled up. Learn Bubble. Very nice. About to send out Dugong. Uh, another typing that would be good for um, uh, uh, Ane. Okay, we're going to switch out to Kensh. Uh, mm, no, we're going to go out to J here. We're going out to Jay because I really want War Turtle to get some experience. Um, so he's going to send out Dugong. Level 15, that's fine. Um, I want to see... I don't want to risk losing Jay, so we're not going to even try and attack. I'm going to switch out. I uh, Kenshin's level 17. I wonder if Ember would do enough to really whittle him down. Um... I'm gonna try. We're, we're two levels higher than Dugong. We're not a Fletchling anymore. I think we can take at least one Ice Attack. Went for Encore. Interesting. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go for an Ember here. Let's see how much this does. We outspeed. Does not do much. Can we get the burn? Ooh, we went for Icy Wind. Hang on. Hang on, Kenshin. Oh, that did 12 damage. That's not bad at all. Speed fell. Um, but I'm gonna go for a pack. How much does this do? He went for Encore. Okay. Use Ember again, that's fine. I'm good with that burn, burn, burn. Ah. You know what? Let's stay in, let's go for a burn. Even with a crit, I think we'd be fine. Signal beam, how much is that gonna, yeah, it does three damage. Not even, not even anything to worry about. Okay. So burn, no burn, wow, we've done three embers. Why are you going for signal beam? Why would you not be going for icy shard, or ice shard, or icy wind? That doesn't make any sense at all. It's a weird choice of attack, but okay. We're gonna keep going for Ember, take out this thing right here. Take out Dugong. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will have an Encore every day of the week. One more Ember should do it. Come on, Kenshin. You got this. No, we used a Super Potion. Dang it. I really... Ah, oh, that sucks. That's fine. You know what? We are going to stay in. Seeing, he keeps, seeing as he keeps going for the uh, Encore and he keeps going for Signal Beam, it's it would be different if he went for Ice Shard and it kept doing enough every two turns for me to have to heal because then I'd just be spamming super potions but because he's doing signal beam doing about three damage and encore he's not doing anything that would really impact me health wise so I'm good so let's hope for a burn at some point nope still no burn wow interesting signal beam again that's fine okay we're just gonna spam ember until we defeat the dugong okay we should only need two more embers I think I gotta be careful though, because if he gets us low enough to get a crit from a, uh, an Icy Wind to kill us, that'd be really bad. So I think we got this, come on. He used Encore, yep, perfect. Okay, that was risky, because if he had gone for Ice Shard or Icy Wind, whatever it was, and got a crit, he could have killed there, I think. But Dugong is defeated, two out of six are down for the count. Kenshi gains 532 and gets the level 18, very nice. And J Chamber gets 532, grows to level 14, yes. JJ Amber grew to level 15. Nice. He's about to sp send out Spinda. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go out to Crystal. I I'm ready to go to Crystal here. Let's see what you can do. I really need a better, uh, like I need Slash or I need like Fury Cutter. Or I need something better than what I've got. Um, Spinda. Okay. That's fine. Um, actually getting a Scizor would be fantastic. And getting like Metal Claw or something. That'd be great. Tackle. How much does that do? Seven? Actually, it's not bad. Okay. Transformed into a normal type. Let's go for another quick attack. Can we get a crit? Ooh, we did! I called... Oh, wait. Was that not a crit? Or did I click out of it too fast? 
Okay, quick attack. We're gonna outspeak because we have priority. We're gonna kill. Spend is defeated. We did it all on our own. Good job, Crystal. Proud of you. 405 experience. Oh, it's almost a level. Torchic is coming out. We're gonna switch out into J Jammer. Get him some experience. Take out Torchic. I love fighting these gym leaders. Well, important traders with six Pokemon. It's so cool. All right, here we go, Jay. Let's see what you got. Go, bubble attack. Ooh, okay, almost a one-shot. He's gonna go for Growl. The AI is going for some terrible moves, which is why I'm getting a huge opportunity to win this. Ooh, Defiant kicked in. Very cool, I like it. So when you lower my stats, my uh, my special attack increases, or my attack increases. Typhlosion, oh my gosh. <gasps> He's got Water Absorb! Oh my gosh, what? This man, oh my goodness. Okay, um... Let's see, what do I wanna do here? He's probably just gonna have Ember, so I'm gonna switch out into Kenshin. Uh, again, I, it's not that I don't wanna use Ane or Yoshi, I just don't wanna overlevel them more than I already have. So he goes for a quick attack, okay. That's fine. So we are gonna use one of our healing items because we've been really good in this battle with not abusing them. Um, so it's fine to use one or a couple. All right, so Kenshin, my plan for you Oh, he's got smoke screen. This is bad. Okay, not great. So my plan for you is to go for Pex. Um, let's see if you can even hit one. Oh, he's already missing. Not good, not good. I can't... Typhlosion with water absorb in this game. If I can get a Typhlosion, that would be freaking sick. That would be literally insane. Wow. I mean, ugh, please tell me at some point I can get a Cyndaquil or a Quilob, or I guess a Typhlosion if I can catch one in the wild, that'd be better. He's avoiding the attacks. Let me see if I can keep trying to hit him. Uh, quick attack. Ooh, that was a crit. No, it wasn't. Okay, we hit there. All right, I'm gonna heal up again. Because this is gonna give Jay and Kenshin some great experience. Typhlosion use quick attack, that's fine, go for it. Man, that is a lot of damage. Oh, it's because he used Leer, that's why. Yeah, he used Leer earlier and I forgot about that. Smokescreen again? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'm gonna switch out, hold on. Uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna switch out to J Jammer. The reason I'm gonna switch out is because these smoke screens and leers are really gonna hurt Fletch uh, Fletchender, Kenshin. So I'm gonna switch out real quick. He's gonna go for the smoke screen, that's fine. Now he's probably gonna anticipate that I stay in. So, ooh, Defiant did, oh man. I kinda wanna stay in now. Should I? Uh, no, that's too risky. No, that's too risky. Let's go into Kenshin. Woohoo, this is a battle. Is, we got a battle on our hands right here. All right, Kenshin's coming back out, so he goes for a quick attack. Without the Leer, that's not doing as much as it did before. So now we're gonna go for a, oh, we should've gone for quick attack, but that's okay, we go for a peck. Oh, it almost kills him. He goes for smoke screen. No, dang it. Now he lowers our accuracy, that's fine. We'll go for a quick attack. Outspeed, can we hit? Yes, we do, we take out Typhlosion. Nice, good job, Kenshin. Proud of you, bud, proud of you. 771 for Kenshin. Oh my gosh, level 19 for Kenshin. 771, J Jammer grows to level 16. He wants to learn Bite, yes. Give me that dark type move, thank God. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh... I honestly wanna get rid of... Let's get rid of Tackle, I'm good with that. Let's go for Bite, yes! Oh, that's such a nice move that we've got for him now. Bubble, Bite, Karate Chop, and Withdraw. Pretty solid. Zatu is coming in. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch out to J Jammer. On our first turn, we're going to heal him up, and then we're going to try and attack with a Bite. Because I'm worried about getting hit by... I don't know what it would have at this level, but uh, I don't know. I'm concerned about the Zatu, so let's heal up first. Let's go for a Potion. It shouldn't have anything super effective, but I still want to be cautious. It goes for Nightshade, so it's going to do 16. Is that what its level was? Okay. Uh, that's actually not that bad, so let's go for Bite. Went for Nightshade again. Okay, so we should be good. Ooh, man. Okay, Bite. How much is it going to do? 
Oh, it did under half. Okay, so let's heal up with a super potion here. We got plenty of them, and like I said before, we didn't abuse them early on. I was worried that we were going to run into something super powerful, and that we'd end up blowing through them quickly. So because we didn't, I don't mind using them a little bit later in this duel. Or this duel. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, let's go for Bite here. He just keeps going for Nightshade, which is fine. Whew! Bite, come on, get a crit. Ah, oh, I thought it did. I was getting so excited there. All right, so we use one more Super Potion, and we should be able to defeat him with one more Bite, as long as Brawly doesn't use a Super Potion on his own Pokemon. Okay, he goes for a Nightshade. That's fine. Jay is out here killing it, man. He's about to bite the Zatu and get a win here. Come on, Jay. Bring us home a win, bud. Bring us home a win. Bite. And there... Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. There's one more Pokemon left. I completely forgot. He switched out Torchic to bring out Typhlosion. But Jay grows to level 17 from that experience. That's insane. Wow. Probably's about to send out Torchic. I'm going to stay in. We're not, we're not afraid of this Torchic. It's level 15. What is it going to do? We'll go for Bubble. Quick Claw is a poppin'. Let's go! Jay, my dude, just took on a bunch of the, the Pokemon in this Gym Leaders thing. Oh my gosh, in this Gym Leaders Gym, not Gym Leaders thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Jay Jammer gained 198 and almost another level. Whoa, whoa, you made a big, you made a much bigger splash than I expected. 1800 for winning, bruh. <laughs> we did it, guys. We got our second Gym Badge. Okay, you've got me. Take this Gym Badge. We got it, guys. Our second gym badge. Yes! Look at us. British Eagle received the Knuckle Badge from Brawly. The Knuckle Badge makes, like, all Pokemon up to level 30. Even those you get in trades obey without question, bruh. Hmm, you know what? I think you can make full use of this, too, bruh. I'm sure this will help your Pokemon bulk up muscle, bruh. Obtained... Oh, TM08 Memento is terrible. That is such a bet. So, Memento, just in case you don't know, basically, it uh, you sacrifice yourself, so it's like self-destructing, but you lower the opponent's, I think it's special attack and special defense harshly by like two or three stages. It's a it's not a good move in a Nuzlocke. I can't sell that either, which stinks. Bulk up like temporarily enhances the Pokemon's muscle power. Bruh, the move boosts both attack and defense stats of the Pokemon. I can see your talent becoming a, a giant wave that causes a storm of astonishment with traitors one day. Ha, <laughs> I look forward to that day when I can surf your giant wave, brah. <laughs> By the way, have you been to Granite Cave? It's located to north of this town. Like, bruh, it's full of fantastic stuff like rare stones and wall paintings thousands of years old. My friend Steven rushed to the cave after I told him about it. All right, cool. So we did it, gang. We finally defeated Brawly. Not gonna lie, it wasn't the craziest battle I've ever had, but I gotta admit, it was interesting. It definitely had a lot of ups and downs and all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's go heal real quick so we don't mess this up. Let's heal our team. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Crazy, man. Crazy. I'm so proud of my team. They did so well. We got Jay, we got Kenshin, and we got Crystal leveled up a little bit. Ane and Yoshi are sitting in the back right now. Like I said, I kind of want to build this team up a little bit, so uh, very happy with what we did in that battle, though. Nice job, team. So let's head into Granite Cave here. We already got our encounter, so we're not going to be able to catch whatever we get in this cave, uh, which actually was Crystal. So welcome to the team, Crystal. All right, who's in here? Who could it be? <gasps> Some cool artwork on the wall, I see. That is awesome artwork. I love that. It's cool looking. Hmm. So, in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The ancient, the super ancient Pokemon, what terrible strength. But this appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. Hmm, it seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? Ah, you are? Ah, I see, it's a pleasure, British Eagle. My apologies, my name is Steven. 
I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Today, my journey brought me here, and... But what about you? Oh, a letter for me. Yes, I have a letter from the president. British Eagle gave Stephen the letter he had been entrusted with. Oh, why, thank you. It must have been some trouble to track me down. I suppose I must repay you in some way. Let me see. I'll give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Obtain- Oh my gosh! We just got Earthquake! Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for completely destroying your eardrums if, you're, if you have headphones in right now. Oh my freaking gosh. This man gave us- He tricked us. He was like, hey, you want Steel Wing? Huh, psych. Here's an Earthquake. Oh my gosh. How freaking awesome is that? This early in the game. <laughs> That's incredible. If you don't mind me asking, do you feel anything in particular when you look up at this wall? A primal world lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes, but not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly quite capable as well. Looking at you all together, I think that you have in you what it takes to become a Pokemon League champion. To become a Pokemon... Oh, as long as you keep training, that is. Dude, this is this is dope. Good luck to you. I must be going now. I love this. This is so cool. This cave is awesome, by the way. It's much better than the original cave. So let's, let's look at this wall. It is a cave painting that depicts a giant Pokemon-like creature wrecking havoc. There is a symbol resembling the character on each of the beast's two arms. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get out of this cave because we are done in here for now. We can't get another encounter, obviously. Like I said, we caught Scyther in here. So now all we can do is just head out. We got TM Flash. We got TM for Earthquake. Let's check out... Well, first of all, I forgot to check out the ability for Fletchender or Kenshin. So let's do that real quick. So what is your new ability now? Magician. The Pokemon steals the held item of a Pokemon if hits... It hits with a move. What? That's actually pretty cool. I'll take that. Especially if it's like a berry or something. Um, okay. So who can learn Earthquake? Oh my goodness. Yes! I'm so excited about teaching this to someone. Please. Please. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Okay. First of all, I know it's not Stab, but it's a freaking Earthquake. I've got to teach this to Crystal. Yes. Crystal, we are going to get rid of... Um, we're gonna get rid of so pursuit will be good later on I'm actually gonna get rid of focus energy um, dude I just taught crystal earthquake oh my gosh crystal just learned earthquake that's incredible I'm. it's a shame that Ane can't learn it that would have been really cool um, I can teach it to Kenshin which is kind of cool because it's part flying I'm going to hold off on that for now. Let me know in the comments if I should teach Earthquake to Kenshin. If you get this far into the video, let me know. Is Kenshin a good idea to teach an Earthquake? Um, I'm not sure how that would go, but it's worth a shot. So, now that we've done all that, let's talk to Mr. Briny. Oh, it looks as though you have delivered your chit good. Your chit good and proper. Ah, but that reminds me. I've had a message from Pre President Stone saying he has another favor to, uh, to ask. It's about them Devon parts that you recovered for him before. Seems as though they should go to some fellow called Stern at Slateport Shipyard. These, this old sea dog will see you there safely. Way anchors, we're for Slateport. Let's do it. Let's go to Slateport. Um, I'm actually excited about Slateport because we get more items now that we beat our second gym. So I am excited to see what we get from this next gym. I'm so pumped. And there's no gym in Duford, so we have to wait until we get to uh, Slateport. I'm so excited. Should we get some encounters to end this episode? I feel like we should. Oh, we made it. We made land in Slateport. I suppose you're off to visit Captain Stone and deliver those Devon pods. Now, there's a ton of trainers on here that I want to dodge for right now. I want to save those for the next episode because that's what we'll do to start the next episode, like I just said. So, uh, let's go. It's this way. Okay, cool. So, we made it to Slateport without getting into a trainer battle. That's awesome. Now, ooh, I'm curious. Is it through here where they sell items? Let me see. Uh, do you know the TM secret power? Uh, one of our members will give it to you if you come back and show it if you get it. Wait, what? We'll accept you as a member and sell your good stuff in secrecy. Uh, I'm good. Okay. What are you selling? I'm the energy guru. I've put all my energy into selling what you need. Bye. Ooh. We can get a nest. Oh, we can get a nest ball. Okay. We can get a mind plate. 
Okay, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these cherries, because why not? We might as well, we got money. Ooh, a Houndoomanite. Oh, wow, that's awesome. A Guap Berry, let's buy five of those. Now, what is a Resist Wing? Doesn't that up your stats? Ooh, that's nice. We're gonna buy one of these Houndoomites, just in case we get a Houndoom. Okay, Nest Ball, we're gonna do that. It works on what? A uh, somewhat different Pokeball that becomes more effective the lower the level of the wild Pokemon. I'll buy, uh, actually, let me see what everyone else is selling first, and then I might come back to you. What are you selling? Oh, you got Scyther. You've got to put really put a bit more energy into your training. If you can do that, I'll give your Pokemon something nice. That's cool. Uh, what are you selling over here, ma'am? All right, all right, I'm gonna sell a cute doll soon. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you sell? Wouldn't you like some fragrance incense? Bye. Are yours? Oh, yours are randomized too. Yes. All of. Oh, this is a perfect place to get something that's randomized or uh, get a place. <gasps> yes, a fossil. Perfect. Let's buy one of those. Now, because it's a fossil and you don't usually buy these, you can only buy one. Venusaur, right? Heck yes. Oh, I wish it was a Blastoise. I, that would have been cool. Um, Netball works on water and bug. Soft sand. Uh, I'm good. Spooky plate. Okay, cool. This is awesome. This place sells a ton of items. So yeah. Uh, whenever I visit here, I get carried away and buy too much. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, what do you sell? Welcome to the Traveling TM Shop. Ooh. Lo Dragon Pulse! Dark Pulse and Ominous Wind. Oh my god. Wait. Is it Dragon Pulse? Okay, that costs way too much. I'm gonna have to save up some money, and in the next episode when we defeat all those trainers, I will buy those TMs. That's awesome. Uh, seaweed you get around full of life. When you okay, cool. All right, so where's the actual mart? I know there is a mart somewhere around here or in the town. So let's check out the mart, unless that was it. I'm pretty sure there is one up here. Yes, there is. Okay, let's see what else we can buy from the mart. This is so, <gasps> there's two of them. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, ma <gasps> Master Ball, yes, I could buy one. Okay, again, okay, <sighs> British Eagle, chill. Okay, we can buy one Master Ball. Oh my gosh, there's Lucky Egg. <laughs> okay. We can buy a Master Ball. We can only buy one of them because it is a super rare item, obviously. You can't typically buy them from uh, these places. There's an Amulet Coin. I'm gonna buy that for 100. Make some money. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna buy a Plume Fossil because we can only buy one, but might as well buy one while we're here. Oh my gosh, this is so dope randomizing this. Uh, let's buy these berries because again, berries are super cheap and we can buy five of the berries because berries aren't super rare items, if that makes sense. Um, Heat rock, float stone. I can't believe we found a master ball this early on. Yes, we are gonna buy a lucky egg. I don't know how I'm gonna use that yet because I don't wanna necessarily make this. I don't wanna have my Pokemon at level 35 before the next gym. That's gonna be ridiculous. Um, Let's buy some ice heals because we those aren't rare. We can buy those. Well, they are in this game, I guess, technically, but um, okay. Woo, we got some items now. What is this guy gonna sell? Is this gonna be even more different items? Oh my gosh, it is. What? Eladia Sight? Oh my gosh, tell me we get Eladias in this. I would love that. So we got Eladia Sight, uh, Heal Ball. Uh, ooh, this is a cheap ball. That's nice. Uh, with it and eliminates any status condition. Now, so Heal Balls and Heavy Balls and stuff like that, I can't make those limited because otherwise I wouldn't be able to catch Mons. So we are going to buy a bunch of these and they're actually really cheap, which is nice. So I can buy 10 for only 3,000. And then we'll buy, uh, we get a Premier Ball as well. And a Heavy Ball, we'll buy a bunch of these. Uh, how much can we afford? Six, okay. Heavy Balls, nice. We can get these as well. I'm not too worried about some of these other items. I'll come back to get those in the next episode. Um, but for right now, I want to go catch them on. Should we, oh, wait, you know what? You know what? We're going to save that for the next episode, guys. I am going to go ahead and save, oh, whoops. I was gonna save it right there, but I didn't get a chance to. So now that we've got all these awesome items, the next episode, we are gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save it right here. We're gonna go ahead in the next episode and go fight the trainers on the beach, get a ton of money, get some encounters, deliver the goods to Slateport Stern, I think his name is, whatever his name is, and we'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for supporting this Pokemon Omega Ruby randomized Nuzlocke series. I am having a blast personally, this is so much fun. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Your support is greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, as always, continue to spread those positive vibes. I'll catch you in the next episode. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.